Hello, Rioteers! It is Headshot's relaxing day. I am going to run a, a ton of sponsor posts today and do a bunch of things, but Headshots from the Heart is one week from the recording of this video, which is a big deal in case you don't know because I haven't talked about it enough. We play Borderlands 2 on a stream. We have a live all-night gaming party. We have an, exp an open expo and a bunch of other things. And we raise money for Child's Play. They donate toys and video games to children's hospitals all over the world. And it is super fun and exciting. And I'm going to talk a bunch about it today. While I play Lego Batman for the first time ever. I've heard really good things. But I'm just going to turn up my volume a bit. I've heard really good things about Lego Batman. But I never really got into it. I just I have a lot of games and I had too many to play. But from the... From the opening cutscene, it looks amazingly adorable, and I am super excited. I picked all the uh, Lego games, uh, all the Lego games, up on sale recently on Steam. So, oh my God, Lego Joker is so cute. But yeah, I don't know. I just want to relax and play some games and have some fun. It's almost the end of Vita too, so we're vlogging every day in April, and then we're gonna go back to our usual schedule. Oh my god, Lego Man Bat? Oh, so cute. I am going to love this. I'm really excited. I don't know that I'm going to do a full play of it. I'm still trying to do Fear. Only Fear is really scary. But I am, I am excited for this because it is super adorable. But yeah, uh, I wanted to, to talk briefly about writing, running your own charity event. Which like we were, we've this is our third year of doing headshots and it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, but it is really rewarding work. And I, I talk with a lot of people about uh, they they want to do their own streaming event. They want to do their own um, thing. We've done some consulting for Minecraft events and things like that. And it's I, I absolutely encourage people to do it. It's not super hard. There's a lot of technology that makes it really accessible. A lot of similar events are really supportive. Mario Marathon's got a how-to page. Uh, we have a similar page and a, a couple of posts that we put up, and we're going to hoping to do some more and to do some videos. In our first year, we got to Skype with some of the crew from Desert Bus for Hope, and they were really supportive. Graham and Kathleen were super awesome. They helped us answer questions that we didn't even know we needed to ask yet. So it's a really, it's a really good climate. But there are some things, there's some people that you absolutely need. And this is true with, with running any kinds of charity events. I've organized a few now. I've organized a couple for um, a local cancer support center. We did a board game event last summer. We raised about $7,000 for uh, Hope Spring Cancer Support Center after they got burglarized. And online and in-person charity events are sort of essentially the same. But you need a few things... There's a few people, rather, like kinds of people to make it go. I mean, you need a technical person. What is the, what is the Riddler? Sorry, I'm looking at the Riddler's plan while I'm doing this. Freeze the city, blow things up, grow trees. Um, no, I have no idea what he's, what he's planning. They get the key to the city? Oh. Poor Clayface. Poor Lego Clayface. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh. But, yeah, you need a technical person. Um, we are lucky to have three amazing guys who do networking and programming and all kinds of stuff. So they, they manage all of our bandwidth. They manage all of our... Um, Gaming party connections and whatnot. We have we we do the, the gaming party often sort of turns into a LAN party. People bring their own PCs and things like that, and hook them up. But it's a matter of managing the bandwidth and making sure that everyone has an amount that is useful for them. Because LAN, local co-op or, or not local co-op, but LAN co-op games are, are or, or competitive games are sort of less. Okay, how do I do things? Oh, press J to grab an enemy and H to throw them again keyboard weird all right let's do this yeah you need i mean you need somebody who who knows enough about 
the tech that you're using to make it work. I want to jump. How do I jump or grapple? Ah, stand in white circles and press J. I am pressing J. Do your thing. Mm hmm. There we go. Can I not like get up there? I'm gonna look at the control scheme briefly. Like I said, I've never played this before, so I am. There we go. I just had a sort of Steve related incident there. Anyway, I'm just gonna figure out the controls. Uh, jump is U. Character toggle up and character toggle down. Sure, I'll use the default controls for this for now. There we go. Oh, I'm really not good at this. All right, no, we're gonna rearrange this. This has got to. This has got to go. I mean, yeah, technical people are important, but they're they're certainly. Um, I won't. I, I don't want to say that they're not the most important people of the event. They're not, but. Uh, they are. Oh wow! I, I can't control this with the mouse at all. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Special. Make you E for special. We'll make jump space. We'll make left control and left shift character toggles, so that way I can have a sane jump button. All right. But they're not jumping. Oh, it didn't save. Oh. There we go. There we are. Oh, that's much better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you need to have technical people. Um, you, like you need because it's it's just generally important to understand what you're what you're doing and it makes it makes life so much easier when you have a couple of people who you can really count on for that. But it's running an event like that is a lot more than just the technical side of it. That was something we sort of figured out after our first year that there's a lot more involved than just making everything work. I mean, you, it takes a whole community to do it. I mean, that's mostly what I do is I'm, I'm our I'm our community manager. I'm ostensibly the leader, but I don't know what that really means. Mostly I just spend time taking care of everybody and making sure that everybody can has the tools they need to do the job they need to do. Is that like Rocket Batman? What's going on with that? Wearing a different suit gives you different abilities. Okay. How do I get up there? Jump into the suit swapper to change suits. That is the suit, the suit swapper, I bet. Oh, maybe I have to jump down from above. Nope. Jim gets stuck 15 minutes, not even, into Lego Batman. I'm good at video games, really. Approach piles of Lego and hold E to build. Ah! Oh. Gotta think in three dimensions here. OK. 
Okay, so what does this suit do? Ah, I can put bombs down. Oh. There we go. Demolition suit. Gather up all the little pieces. Oh yeah, you need. I mean, you need to have some sort of community manager. I mean, it doesn't have to be the person who's in charge or anything like that. It isn't, it, I don't think it's even necessary to have someone who is in charge. I am certainly not in charge in any kind of meaningful sense. Any kind of really important decision we always make as a group. But oh, she fails at bombs. Blowing up your dumpsters. Or not. Okay. Oh, there's a thing over here, though. Let's get this. Haha! -ha! Give me your delicious Lego y things. Hey, man, let's keep moving. I don't want to jump it. I don't want to change any of those suit. I want to wanna blow things up. Here we go. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. But uh, the person I mean, and I and I we joke about this sometimes, but the person who really makes any event work, and this is this is true for any project, I think, is you need to have somebody who's a really good manager. Um, somebody who does more than just keep everybody on track. You need to have somebody who... Okay, I'm just gonna... We're just gonna leave that where it is, because I apparently don't know what's going on. Can I drop more than one? No. Oh! Yes! Oh my god, I'm Batman the Mad Bomber. Or I'm not gonna blow these guys up, I'm just gonna... Oh, he's beating me up. He's beating me up. There we go. I got three hearts. I have no idea what the little cog thingies do. Did I blow that up? Did they blow that up? I'm okay. I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, we like we have Amanda, who is awesome, and who, in addition to working with tons of independent artists and, and helping them, was sort of walking through our sponsorship process and things like that, which is not overly complicated. I mean, we're a small event, but um, we want to sort of put ourselves in a position to do the best that we can for them. <coughs> Sorry, I'm also getting over a cold. Yeah, I had the Pax Pox. But yeah, we want to put ourselves in a position to do what we can for them. But she also manages all of our schedules and all of our auction stuff and, and all of our back-end paperwork. Because as cool as it is to, to be like, oh, well, we're just going to do a thing and we need, you know, we, we're, we're going to have, we'll, we'll just throw, like, load up some video games. I'm going to blow up this phone booth. That was apparently like a thing. Uh oh, property damage. Property damage is Batman's specialty. But it's cool to, to, to just be like, oh, well, we'll just, you know, we'll have a stream or, or something and we'll, you know, we'll get anytime when you're working with volunteers or sponsors or like people who have a stake in what you're doing or working with nonprofits. I mean, you need to, to have paper. There's there's paperwork, and there's a lot of back end stuff that goes into that because that's how. Oh, okay, right. They just sort of blow up after a certain time. That's how you get accountability, and accountability is really important if you want people to work with you again and again. I mean, we've been lucky enough to have sponsors who come back year after year. 
They're beating me up. Oh, they're beating me up. I will beat you up. I play this game exactly like Ten Year Old Jim. That make you. That actually makes me feel really good. <laughs> Let's go down here. Let's see what's down here. I don't know, but there's stuff. This looks important. Let's blow it up. Oh, oh, there's guys in here. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I can... Do I have a grappling hook? <laughs> oh my god, I blew up Robin! Oh my god. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, little buddy. Oh, I feel like such a bad person now. Okay, I can't get through there. I also can't get through here. Is there like a suit swapper option? No. Um, hmm. Yeah, Jim gets stuck in a game design for... Oh, oh, oh. Hold H to enter Batarang mode. I throw the batarang. Tell me, game. Tell me. It's really hard to talk and and read the tutorials at the same time. But yeah, I mean, beyond that, I mean, like, oh, and then release H to throw the battle the batarang. Look around for glowing Lego objects. Is glowing? They look they look like they're glowing. They're like blinking. Apparently that's not a thing though. Oh! Oh! Wait, no. I thought something was flashing over here, but apparently not. We're gonna blow up this tree. It's like the third time I've blown up Robin. I am the worst Batman ever. Well, okay, I mean I'm not Sean Paul Pally. That he was he was probably the worst Batman ever, but I'm pretty bad at this. I mean, I am currently being stopped by a door. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. That's clearly my problem. Ironically, that was also our problem in the first year of running, running our event. Because we had no idea what we were doing. Uh, okay, I'm going to go back to the suit swappy thing. And see if I can... Grapple? No, no. That, that can't be a thing. Let's play the meta game. I mean, they're going to expect you to have... To be in your... Oh, what's down here? Uh, lethal, deadly, poison, toxic stuff. Um, can we batarang it? Batarang these seems like a pretty good idea. Nope. I've not found a single thing I can batarang yet. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, you got a community manager, you got your tech people, and you got your... your administrative people. And that's really sort of how we got started. There were three of us sort of sitting in a room. We went, yeah, well, I guess we could do that. And now, I mean, we have all kinds of things. We, we have Matt, who's, our, who's basically our producer. We've got uh, network people. We've got a couple of people who work with local sponsors and, and sponsors abroad. Uh, we've got Rob, who's an awesome graphic designer that uh, we work with. And like, we have all kinds of, of 
Thanks, guys. I was getting aboard. That's cool. I wonder if I can blow up this. Oh! Wait a minute. What's going on here? Now I'm robbing. Technology suit allows Robin to operate green. Oh, I just got punched to pieces. That's unfortunate. The wow. Okay. I just like the hug of doom, that guy. Okay. Here we go. I have no idea what's going on, but it's really cool. Okay. Do you guys have any, any idea what's going on here? Um... Oh, there's switches. Yeah, the door's open. How do I get out of this? There we go. I like being Robin. That was, oh my god. Burn. Oh yeah. Oh, clay face. All right, we'll watch this cutscene and then we'll go. But yeah. If you're going to run your own charity event, I recommend having those three kinds of people. And you need them to be... I was not what I was expecting. I mean, that's it's it's sort of your... You always have your core crew. And, I mean... Because your friends and other people will, will sort of come and go. But... You need to have the person who helps you care about it. Do I just beat you up? No. No. Oh, God. That was painful. I'll be over here not dealing with that. Batman, get him! Batman! Just, uh... Just get him. He's not hurting Clayface at all. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay, let's... Hey, Clayface! I don't know what... Did, did I just... Did I just open the vault for it? Is that what just happened? Oh, and they shot me to pieces. Oh my god. I'm the worst Batman. Oh, I'm gonna blow up this phone now. Three out of five property damage. Yeah. I think that's just more explosive suit. Oh, there's a door in the side there in the alley. Okay, I thought there was a door in the alley. Huh. Anyway. Yeah, it really, it sort of becomes a thing. And if you would, if you do have some questions about streaming events or things like that, please ask them in the comments, and I will be happy to answer them to the best of my ability, or try and forward them to you to places where... Scum! Criminals! Oh, batarang mode, maybe? Ow, bullets. Oh, yeah, batarang mode. Ha! Suck on that. Batarangs. Okay. Uh, 
uh, battering you. I'm just going to beat this boss real quick. Uh, assuming that I have any idea what's going on, because I'm apparently super terrible at this game. Oh, can I, can I get him through the bars? Yeah! I abandoned Robin in a car. There we go. Ha! Why'd you open it? Now he's gonna get out. <sighs> Batman, how are you doing that? Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to play some more Lego Batman tomorrow. And we'll talk about uh, writing sponsor email or um, blog posts, which is actually really fun and really exciting. Uh, I love doing it, but it is tricky because there's this tendency to sort of want to be all home shopping network. And that is, I think, the wrong way to do it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.